forget the, the term folk music. It's music that comes from the people. I grew up in the 60s uh, at a wonderful time to have grown up as far as music was concerned because there was a variety of music and uh, folk music made a resurgent in the late 50s and all the way through the, the 60s. Even some of the rock bands began to record some of the folk songs uh, in, a, in a different manner. And so uh, folk music had always meant a lot to me because it tells stories. And uh, as you look back through the songs that were some written before the Revolutionary War and on through that period in the Civil War and the, the days when our country was developing, and add to that all the songs that came over from Europe with the immigrants, you see that people really sang in their hearts. And they covered just about every aspect of life. There are a couple that seem to be on top of the list of what they covered. One was alcohol, for some reason or other, and the other was love and relationships. The one I'm going to sing tonight is not an old folk song, and, and I think it's a folk song simply because it tells a story. Folk music doesn't always make sense, but it always has a story and a beginning and ending. This is one that has been around quite a few years that uh, is hard to remember. Y'all want to bear with me. Now, many, many years ago when I was 23, I was married to a widow who was pretty as can be. This widow had a grown-up daughter who had hair of red. My father fell in love with her and they soon too were wed. This made my dad my son-in-law and changed my very life. For my daughter was my mother, for she was my father's wife. To complicate the matter, even though it brought me joy, I soon became the father of a bouncing baby boy. This little baby then became a brother-in-law to dad, and so became my uncle, though it makes me very sad. For he is my uncle, then that also makes him brother to the widow's grown-up daughter, who, of course, is my grand stepmother, yeah. Then father's wife soon had a child that kept him on the run, and he became my grandchild, for he was my daughter's son. My wife was now my mother's mother, and this makes me blue, because although she is my wife, she's my grandmother, too. Now, if my wife is my grandmother, then I'm her grandchild. And every time I think of it, it almost drives me wild. Because now I have become the strangest case you ever saw. As husband to my grandmother, I am my own grandpa. Oh, I am my own grandpa. I am my own grandpa. It may sound funny, I know, but it really is so. I am my 